Welcome back. You're still watching SABC News Prime. From defying forensically established facts to lying under oath, this is how human rights lawyer George Bezos described prosecutors during the first inquest into Ahmed Timal's death. Timal died at the notorious John Foster Square police station in 1971. At the time of his death, it was claimed that he'd jumped, he'd committed suicide. But it's widely suspected he was killed by apartheid police. His family approached the prosecuting authority to conduct a second inquest into his death. Day three of the second inquest into the death of Ahmed Timal. Added hopes now pinned on the shoulders of veteran human rights lawyer, George Bezos. Yours was a very long career. The family hopes Bezos will help expose the truth. The issue is why would he commit suicide? That's haunted Timor's family for over four decades. was kept in custody for 70 odd days. He was promised that he would soon be released. He was see, see his family and he told them that. But something happened after a new year. Bezos testified about a document written by the SACP, the party, to which Timor belonged. Instructed the people that were their members rather commit suicide than betray your comrade. I'm told that the document has become available because it was secretly handed to the magistrate Time used this document to rule Timor's death as suicide. Police masterminded this. And actually decided which magistrate which take would take which case. On Tuesday, Salim Esso, who was arrested with Timor, demonstrated how he last saw his friend Timor alive after systematic torture. What really happened to Timol in the notorious room 1026 at John Foster Square? Well, that's what this inquiry is trying to unravel more than four decades later. Bezos, the legendary human rights lawyer, says Timol's detention order prohibited him from being held at the offices. The inquest continues. Marie Gaita Mklave, SABC News, Johannesburg.